Okay, there goes my horse. Well... Okay, I'm... Oh, look at Sir Jonathan! Thank you very much! Not only protecting the king, but also protecting oh, the Lord Commander. Well, that is... Did you see that? He came from behind. All right, we'll, we'll try and uh, protect his corpse here. Okay, you know what? I want the poor fellas to regroup. Um, and I want my uh, cavalry to come back here. Uh, the Holy Hundred. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this was... Wow, this was a great deed. Look at our Lord Mark. Sir Jonathan, I'm, I, I must say I'm, I'm amazed at your dedication came from behind to protect me. Okay, so how is this looking? Is this looking good? Are we winning? Yes, I think so. I think so. Okay, infantry, form a shield wall. I want you... I want you here. We need to go back and unhorse you. Okay. Um, I think uh, we'll send you guys in. Our infantry is fighting. Okay, cavalry, you can just kind of charge around. Okay, so there's the second charge of that cavalry. I see. All right, can we get our infantry back a little bit? Just back them up? That'd be great. I, I, I kind of would like to have a horse. Um, and I don't want to take another wound here. Okay. Taking you out. Alright, sweet. Sir Bonifer got knocked out by, by Edmure Tully. Wow. Alright, well, he must be a good fight then. And... Who just got down next to me? I don't know. Some knight. Alright, come on, man. We can do this. Well, luckily, what we don't have to fear are, uh, are any archers, which is great. Okay, I think... Ooh, gotta be careful here. Is this Septonetta? Yes, it is. Come on, you can take him out. Yeah, he did. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Sir Lancelot with us here. Glad. Okay. Um, how's it, how's it going? They've got... Oh, we've only got 37 men left. They've got 63. Alright, well, let's have a carry follow us. And maybe a stranger servant as well. Um, I don't want anyone charging. Okay. That's good. Sir Flat getting a kill there. With his crossbow, probably. Oof. What a battle. What a battle. And uh, there is uh, Sir Lance on horse. I don't want to take this wound. I don't want to take my seventh wound. That I, I don't know. It's it's not time yet. I don't think it's time for Sir, Sir, Thio, for, for Sir Theo then to, to die just yet. Okay, I'm, I'm still feeling good. I've got Sir Lancel and Sir Flad. And I, and I think... Do we have... Oh, no! Do we have the king still as well? I'm missing the king. Maybe Eamon went down. That's possible. Okay, so they're trying to flank us. Oh, that's a smart move. We have no more cavalry left. But I think we're in a pretty good position here. They're the ones to, uh, who have to make the attack now. Because we have to wait for reinforcements. Only got 36 men. What are they doing, though? Not really sure. Maybe I can get that horse over there. Alright, well, I'll, I'll try and grab that horse if possible. I'll just uh, feel a bit more mobile. They might come and attack me. Oh, well, I've got a few loyal men following me. Come on. No, please. Oh, 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 I know what they're doing. Yep, they were they were trying to bait me out of my good position. Alright, well. Alright, let's take out this man then. Uh, I don't know what the rest of their forces are doing. Get you off your horse. Alright. But I would have actually liked to get that horse. Hmm. Alright, maybe we can... Come on, can you save the horse, please? Ah. Oh, well. So I'm not sure what their main force is doing. There may be... Ah, oh, you know what? I think they're going after this horse as well. Oof. Oh, no! Oh! Sir Theo, then. Oh, my God. I think it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Look at our health. We have no shield. Oh, this is not good. Can we pick up a shield? 
I, I, I feel so bad. Okay, there's a, there's a shield at least. Oof. Oh my god, this is so close. Now, I don't feel like engaging them, because they're the ones with more men. Okay. Oof. We're killing them one by one. So Lancel doing a good job there. Even this Raider Horseman. Alright, I'll take him out. Oof. One hit and I'm and I'm dead. Okay, good job, good job, good job. Okay, are we just gonna do it? They've got 50 men. Um, but I think we pretty much killed their cavalry. All right, you know what? We'll do it. Poor fellas. Actually, no, poor fellas. Go forward. Go forward. Oof. This is not easy. We're leaving. We're gonna leave our great position here, and we'll we'll move at them. Because I think, yeah, we've killed more men. So even though we are still waiting for reinforcements, we technically have more men in this in this battle. All right, we'll let you move. And then once uh, once we fought for a little bit, I think we will have to. We'll just have to retreat. I hope that most of their cavalry is dead, because otherwise we could be really troubled. Oh. They have crossbows. Oh no. They have crossbows. All right, move forward, men. I'm worried. I'm worried for Sophia then here that this might be. All right, come on, guys. It's time. I'm worried. Infantry, charge. Charge in, charge in. Alright, we'll have to linger on the edge of uh, battle here. Oh, they got some pretty good men. They want to surround us. Oh, I'm not sure if this is working out. Oof. I don't know if this is a good idea. Nope, this is not a good idea. I think we'll, we'll have to retreat. I think we'll retreat this. Yeah. And we'll wait for... Okay, reinforcements have arrived. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we'll uh, we'll get back. And, uh, yeah, we're losing a lot of men. Well, that was to be expected, though. That was exactly what I expected. Okay, let's uh, let's retreat. How many... How many men... Are, what kind of men are we getting? A few... Okay. Maiden Sentinels. That's good, I guess. Let's have you kind of group there. And infantry, I want you to, to hold here. Yes. And Sir Edmund Tully is fighting. Oh, if I could take him out. Alright, infantry. Charge in, charge in. I think we've got them now. Well, actually, no. Infantry here. Come over here. Ah. They're just, they're just overwhelming us. They're cutting us down. Infantry. Oof. Ah. Uh, no. Form a shield wall. Here. Who do we have standing up there? Alright, infantry charge. Oh, they're just... These household guards, man. Alright, wait, where is... Where is the king's guard? Is there anyone left? No. But we've got some of those guys. We've got uh, our warrior son still. I'll let them have uh, let them follow me. Septon Robin is with us. Okay. So how many men have we killed? 127. Oh my god. All right, infantry. Let's go here. Uh, actually, form another shield wall. There's one enemy here. They want us to attack again. Alright, we'll do this game again. Alright. Okay, they have uh, they have some more crossbow. I think we'll, we'll try and attack him once again. Um, we don't have many shield forces though. This is a problem. I don't want to be exposed. 
through their archer or crossbow fire. <sighs> what are you guys doing? What, what, what are you... I don't know why they're not able to pass through here. But this is not good. Because we're taking a lot of hits. Come on, men. <sighs> they're, they're forcing us to uh, go in this kind of uh, weird way. Alright, we're doing it though. Alright, maybe I can get involved. They just have these range. Oh! Oh no, 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 no! Uh oh. Uh oh, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Just one stray uh, arrow. Okay, wow, there goes Sir Lancel. Oof. Wow, we are, we are pretty nuts. Okay, what is our infantry doing? No! No! Sir Theo then went down. Ah, oh, this is terrible. <sighs> well, it had to happen. Wound seven out of seven. And there it is. This is the end of Sir Theo then. Dying gloriously in the field of battle against Sir Edmure Tully of Riverrun. Alright, well, of course, we retreated from this fight. Um, our Lord Commander of the Faith Militant, he fell in battle. It's, uh, it's Sir Theoden's seventh wound, and that means he is now dead forever. He is not coming back. We will not be able to play as him anymore. Let's have a look at this uh, devastating battle here. Um, we took a lot of casualties in this. I mean, you know, we were fighting the low paramount of the Riverlands. I mean, you know, this was obvious that this is going to be a very significant uh, battle. Um, I think even, I don't know who got taken out by, I think it was Sir Bonifer gotten taken out by Sir Edmure Tully himself. So this was, this was pretty insane. Um, Septon Adam went down. I think pretty much all of our commanders went down. I know, as uh, yeah, Septon Tier went down. Uh, Sir Flat even went down. Wow. Uh, Sir Bonifer Lancel, Sir Jonathan, he even protected um, Sir Theoden, um, but that wasn't enough. Um, we, we just, we just got, we just got this bolt in the head, and and you know what? Maybe we should have retreated, but I, I think at this point, Sir Theoden was was just sick of retreating. Um, we've had so many fights retreating, and and I just, we didn't want this anymore. So. We are fighting this. We lost some... We actually didn't lose a whole lot of men. I mean, only 17 were killed. And we, we took a lot of people wounded. But, you know, Septon Nella, Septon Ben, and our uh, our Silent Sisters are doing a really great job keeping our men alive. As for Sir, the uh, Sir Edmure's side, he was knocked out as well. I wonder who did it. Um, but, yeah, he got knocked out. We killed some 200 men. Actually, you know what? With all these wounded and routed, didn't we... Didn't he have, like, 215 men? Didn't we win this fight? I think we might have. So the Theoden had not even the most kills. It was Sir Fled who's got seven kills here. Uh, Septon Edit with four wounds. Very good, very good. Lancer got three. Um, and Septon Robin four. King Aemon didn't get anything? Hmm, well. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have to continue here. And oh, yeah, we did win the fight. So <laughs> it was literally like only a few people left. And uh, our men finished him off. Wow, that's interesting. Alright, well, there we are. We're going to continue. We'll take these men captive. And here's the thing. Look at this. We're actually not dead yet. We're actually not dead. Oh, well. Um, well, we're going to keep... Uh, we're going to take you uh, captive here. I think he, I think what's happened... I think we're being knocked out. But we didn't immediately die. I think this is how it is. So, we're still living on. And uh, I, I guess we can sort of command... Uh, the Faith Militant still, we're just not going to be able to fight anymore. We will have to choose a new, a new commander, and this is something that, of course, uh, you guys will have to do. Um, the uh, the Council of the Most Devout, you will have to, you will have to choose a new leader of the Faith Militant. Um, but I wonder, you know what? I wonder if we can maybe Maiden Pool's holding still. Let's see, how many men have we got left? We've got 160. I said enough. 160 men. <sighs> Mounted Riverlander Sergeants. 39 Elite Men at Arms. I don't know if we could fight that. I don't know if we should fight that. Hmm. 
What have we got? We've got 16 veteran Dragonstone men at arms. Uh, well, quite frankly, we've got a lot of archers. If we're not being attacked, I suppose. No, but I think this battle was hurting us too much. I think we might actually have to retreat. And Maidenpool will fall with that. It's just going to be terrible. But I think we might have to fall back to Duskendale. Just wait for our troops to heal up. Maybe even pick up a few more knights. Because we've got, like, mostly archers now. All right, I think we'll, we'll, we'll have to retreat. Yeah, I think we'll have to retreat. Um, this is not going too well. Okay, you're in the mood for something special today. Uh, you know what? No, I don't think so. Nothing special today. No preparation for anything. We will have to prepare the funeral. That's the only thing that we will have to prepare. The funeral for our great low command. What's this? What reaches you... <sighs> What? That a villager from Plugold killed some farmer from Calwick. The Riverlands... Oh, make it easy for them to go to war with the North. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, um, quite frankly. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to make our way back to Duskendale. <sighs> and we'll have to just kind of rearrange. I don't think we're going to be able to hold... To hold Maidenpool there. We've got only like a f 50 men. Um, let's, uh, let's check out the garrison. Uh, we'll obviously... I mean, we might be able to convince these mounted Riverland sergeants to join us. Um, but now, you know what? I think we'll just... We'll just give them here. <sighs> okay, well, Sir Lancel is able to upgrade. I guess we'll do that. And there's a few more men. A Dornish Lancer? Huh. We'll actually bring you up there. Yep. I think so. Right to the Caravan Master. And then, Westland Mounted Sergeant. Oh, interesting. More Silent Sisters. Septon Robin gets to upgrade as well. Okay, I guess we'll do that. We'll see to upgrade some more poor fellas and veterans. Okay, so well, at least that helped. We have a lot more elite forces now. And three Stormlander Hammermen. Who've been actually fighting quite well in the battle, I would say. Veteran poor fellas, you can... Should probably move up here as well. And uh, dismounted Westland Sergeant. Get you in the front here because we uh, we will need you. Okay. Now I think hmm, we'll probably take the Veil Lancers with us, right? Can we, can we take both of them? No. We can take the Lancers. And we can take like, like maybe five Runestone Knights. Or ten. I think that's fine. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Might as well take as many as we can, right? We'll leave 20 here. I think that's fine. Bring the Veil Lancers up as well. Because um, we'll, we'll need them to take Harrenhal. I think if we don't take Harrenhal now, we'll miss our opportunity. Okay. Well, uh, let's get out of here. And let's, uh, let's talk to our party. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade Sir Lancel here. So I think the way we're going to do this... Um, Right now, we'll talk about your skills here. So, yeah, so Lancel is obviously one of the possible candidates to lead the uh, the Faith Militant. Um, but I think he doesn't really have a whole lot of leadership. I think I'll give him a little bit more intelligence. We'll put both points into leadership. Other than that, he's okay. I mean, he's a really good fighter. But, yeah, his leadership could be a little bit better than that. Um, we'll increase his one-handed and I guess his pole arms as well. And then the other person that could potentially lead is Sir Bonifat the Good. Um, let's quickly check out his stance here. Um, yeah, he's, he has two leadership as well. Um, he's a bit more weapon mass, I feel like. But he doesn't have any tactics or trainer. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he isn't as... Maybe Lancel is a better choice. I think the choice is it's going to come down to Sir Bonifer, Sir Lancel, or uh, I guess I guess Sir Fled. I guess Sir Fled could be uh, could be leading our men as well. Let me quickly check out his stats here. What has he got? Mm, he's only one leadership, and we couldn't. You know, we would have to get them to the next level to get to two leadership, huh? Well. But he does, he does have looting and tactics. It's hard to tell. Um, but I think it's going to be between dudes three. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anyone else... 
Yeah, none of the Septons. It needs to be a warrior son, that's for sure. Let's talk to Septon Robin. And uh, let's see what we can increase here. Your leadership is one. That's okay. Um, I suppose your intelligence. Oh, your weapon master. I think I'll go for intelligence. And we'll increase your leadership. Yeah, might as well increase your leadership by quite a bit. And give you a bit more one-handed. Because I can't really give you anything else. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Well. Hmm. Yeah, Bailey, she's not going to lead it. So what are we to do? What are we to do? I suppose we could go and siege Harrenhal. Or we could try and defend Maidenpool. I mean, we've got 250 men. I guess we could check out how many men we have here. Um, but it's probably a big... Ho it's, a, it's a really strong host of men. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. You know what? Okay, I think you know what I will do. I will end the episode here. Uh, you guys let me know who you think should lead the Faith Milton. It's going to be a decision between uh, Sir Bonifer for the Good, uh, Sir Lancel the Loyal, and Sir Flat the Ruthless. I think out of all of them, Sir Bonifer is probably the best candidate. Um, but, you know, you can obviously let me know. There's also going to be a straw poll here. Um, don't forget that uh, whoever wins the straw poll will get the support of Septa Unella in the Council of the Most Devout. Um, and... Uh, yeah, also please let me know if we should, uh, well, I don't think uh, there's a there's any on a possibility that we can hold Maidenpool, but should we fall back to Duskendale and just kind of replenish our forces, or should we try and press uh, press on for Harrenhal, try and fortify that, give it to Peter Baelish, and therefore get the alliance with the Vale? Um, just let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, I uh, I hope that I will see you guys next time.